We're telling people that I'm live. You got me on. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, y'all. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. I hope it's halftime. Jeez, I pray it's halftime. I'm not watching the game. Y'all can watch me. Y'all know how y'all do split screens. Don't do me. Split screen these things. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Oh, Lord, good morning. Long day, long day. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hold on. Y'all share, 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 share. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and like. Um, the page is straight from the chair. I am on my page and I am going to share it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm so excited. Let's go, let's see, let's share. Share, share, share. Ready, cool. Hey, I'm so excited to see y'all tonight. I'm so excited to be here tonight. Um, this is like a real second job, y'all, for me. Like, this is a lot, and I'm I'm so excited about it because each episode I'm learning something new every time. So once again, welcome, welcome to Straight from the Chair with Crystal Gresham Giles. And I am here, your host, to talk about all things hair, straight from the chair. So today I am going to do a demo on waving on um, it's a hairstyle. Um, I'm not sure if the guys are into it, but you might have a couple of guys that want some waves or um, want to understand the waving system. But waves are began a long time ago in this industry. They were the icon of hair. Um, to pass the state board, when I passed the state board back in the 90s, yeah, back in the 90s, um, you had to do finger waves on the state board. So we learned how to do those early, early on. Um, they are a the history of doing hair and they never ever go out of style. So even today in 2022, people are rocking the waves and wanna know, and I've seen so many videos about the waves and how to do waves. Um, and I realized, dang Crystal, you hardly ever post about the styles that you do, especially waves. Waves are something that I do. Um, so I am going to eventually bring in one of my clients and she is going to be my lovely model for today. And I would like to introduce to you all, Miss Amber. Come on in, Amber. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is Amber, Amber Farmer. Amber Farmer, look, I had to think about it, how many Ambers you have. So Amber has already been pre-washed. We have definitely pre-washed her hair. I have her in a plastic cap, understanding that keeping a cap on the head keeps the hair moist and it doesn't dry out. So I have her on a plastic cap just for right now. But um, I wanted to talk to you about when a client sits in your chair about consultation and how we should address the client when the client comes to the chair. Now, I'm not going to go deep into this, but this is especially something special that the Gresham Giles experience gives to our client. So when Amber first came, we sit our clients in the chair and we face them. So my concept for the podcast, and I ask them, where, what are your goals? Now that's the number one thing. As a stylist, I wanna know what's your goals for your hair. Because if I don't know your goals for your hair, then I don't know where we're going. If it was short, you wanna grow it out. If it was long, you want to get it cut. If it's um, damaged, you want to get it healthy. I need to know where you're trying to go with the hair so that I can know how to take you there and how to get there. We have to have a roadmap, but we got to have a goal so that we can have a roadmap to get there. So most of the time I'm asking the client, what's your goal? And when she first came, she just wanted to be a blonde. She had a, a golden blonde that she wanted to get out and she wanted to be a nice, nice Targaryen. Oh, Targaryen. I don't know nothing about Game of, Thrones. Game of Thrones, but she kept telling me she wanted to look like a Targaryen. I'm not sure if y'all know what Targaryens are, 
But if you did, so she had to pull up the picture and we definitely made her a Targaryen. So that was probably about, what, two, no, three, three months ago. She was about three months ago. So we've, we've toned her different. Um, so we just cut her recently and I like the dark roots on blonde hair. A lot of people are like thinking, oh my God, I need to get my roots touch up. I actually like the look. So she has been playing with me and letting me keep her roots with this blonde. So if you can see, it is dark at the roots and it actually gives it like this um, metallic look. Doesn't it y'all? Mm -hmm. It definitely gives like a metallic look. So I definitely like this, but um, we're gonna get ready to um, wave her in one second. But we came up with the segment. What's the segment? Wind Picture. down. The wind down segment. Y'all know I'm always having a nice glass of wine. And oh Lord, to my to my wonderful niece who is probably watching, who wanted to know if she could drink some wine. Um, we have apple cider, um, sparkling cider for her and all the little ones who cannot drink wine. So to Brooklyn, no, you cannot have any more wine. You can have sparkling cider. But tonight we're gonna have another Dublin wine, but this one is um, Scuffadons instead of Muscadons. So it's the green. This is not a sponsorship, but it's definitely some great wine. So I like to tell people about this wine. Also y'all, if you are on YouTube, subscribe, like, if you're on Facebook, and um, IG, follow, share, comment. I like to see your comment. So I'm gonna give Amber some so she can taste. Oh, that sounds like a whole book. <laughs> and I'll have a little bit. I think I can do some waves with a little wine. <laughs> Cheers. You like? I do like it. Yeah, see, I'm turning people on to this. Mm -hmm. And once again, if you get this um, wine, y'all, uh, it is nothing to sleep on. One glass will do you. It will definitely put you where you need to be. So be careful. I'm going to let her hold her glass while I do her ways because we definitely can let our clients enjoy a little spirit while we work. So today, I'm not going to promote any product in particular. So I'm not saying don't ask me, but I'm not going to give any really shout out to any products. I'm going to step away one second so that I can grab these products right here. But I am going to tell you um, about usage. So I always use a leave-in conditioner to start. Like I said, her hair has been previously shampooed and conditioned. Was your shampoo great? Yes. Was your shampoo great? Oh, did you see that, y'all? Let me tell y'all something. I hate to toot my own horn, and I'm really going to give a class, but to have a shampoo done by me, if any of my clients know, like, I'm like, I'll, I'll put myself up there for the top for shampoo and hair because I'm a beast when it comes to shampoo and hair. So I like to teach my assistants and other people. So I think I'm going to do a class on the basic, the shampooing. Did you enjoy my shampoo today? <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to saturate her hair. Um, when you use good products, you don't have to use a whole lot. And I'm just going to emulsify it in the hair. And I'll also find tooth comb when I'm doing it so that I can comb all the products through the hair, make sure every strand is being saturated, okay? Now, when it comes to the, the styling agent to help you do the ways, you have to be, use a lot. How about that? You just have to use more than you really think. So, cause the ways you need it to continuously stay pliable. So you're gonna see me apply the product to the hair. You don't have any questions as we're going? A little history about me, if you didn't know. I've been in this 
industry about 25 years. Oh, Jesus. 25 years. I'm nice and young. Nice and 46. Nice and tenderoni. Um, but I actually absolutely love when I say love, I love what I do. Um, I don't think another career, anything, nothing else would have fortified me the life that I wanted to live, but not just that, the peace and the happiness that I get every time that I am um, able to make a woman feel better about her look or about herself each day. So that's one of my biggest things. So once again, we're saturating the hair with the product. Now, it's about how you want to wear these waves and how you want to start. Waves can be done so many different ways. You can actually comb them all back and do them a different way. Like I can go in and just start waving going back or I can wave all going forward. But I'm going to really, really style um, to like a basic old school state board way set. Okay. So I'm going to start with the, what's this, the right side of her head. No, this is the left side of her head, Lord. The left side of her head. I'm going to start with the left side. Can everybody see? Oh, you're supposed to be looking at my, uh, what's your phone? Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I you got it? it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, we're going to start with the left side of her head. And when people want to know about waving, and you see the people on Instagram, and they go in and they do this number right here. This is called soft waves. When they can go in and the hair is pliable enough to do just the soft waves on the hair. That's just a simple S and making soft waves. That's just easy. Finger waves actually require either two combs or a finger and a comb. That's the difference, okay? Also, the hair texture makes a huge difference when you are doing this process and the thickness and thinness of the hair, the density of the hair makes a huge difference. So we're just gonna go in and finish up these soft waves. When I get right here to the middle, it's a little bit thicker just right here. So this is where I'm gonna take my two combs and use comb over comb method. And then it gets short again. So then I can go in just like this with the soft waves. Um, let's see what, why is Instagram changing me? Cutting off. I got it. Let's see. Can y'all see that again? Are y'all able to see? All right, here we go again. Comb over comb method. I'm not breaking this all the way down like I'm teaching a class. I'm just giving y'all a demo of how soft waves and finger waves are done. So as a client, you can go in and ask for soft waves. You'll know the difference between soft waves and finger waves. And if you need your stylist to learn about it, they can hit me up and we can teach them. So um, again, comb over comb, finger waves, soft waves, boom. And you know, this is really a just a foundation. It can be left to be the hairstyle in itself, but it's definitely a foundation for the hair. When people say maybe a mold or anything, something like that, it's a mold for the hair. Because sometimes I usually go back and curl her hair. Other times I can take um, um, just some oil and run through her hair and it'll be the same. Excuse me, I'm gonna go to the other side. Always stylist, no to move your clients, but because we're in taping, I'm going to switch to the other side. I hope this is my good side. hope I have <laughs> two good sides. <laughs> now, we're here to the right side of her head. 
And because I have it going more to the white, right side, I'm gonna start up at the top. So I'm gonna do the tilt your head forward for me. Now, I want you to see something. You wanna put that down? Mm -hmm. Okay. When your client, this is another thing that I learned as doing a stylist over the years and how our back is affected because of the way the client sits. I'm going to ask her to do two movements and I want you to see something. I want you to sit all the way up with your butt all the way to the back of the chair. You see how much she sat straight up? That made a huge difference. Now, watch when she can put her head down. When I ask her to put her head down, look how much farther the head goes. But when she was slouched back, sit down like you were, when you slouch back, her head can only go so far. Now I'm doing like this, trying to, trying to work this in. So client, be mindful that your stylist is working and her back is hurting or his back is hurting. So adapt, scoot to the side that your client is so that they can get to your hair, sit straight up, put your chin to your chest, and here we go. <laughs> This is how we have to teach the clients, y'all. Y'all gonna help us live a long life in this industry if y'all help us. Okay, let's go. So comb over comb, comb over comb. Now, with these, I don't. They don't always have to be uniform. That's the other thing. Like if y'all getting stylists and they're not uniform, it's okay. Everything does not have to be perfect with it now if you want perfect finger waves and you want them to look uniform all the way around open your mouth and say that otherwise they don't have to be perfect all right and we're just still doing comb over comb right here because this hair is much longer comb over comb how are y'all liking these waves make me feel like I'm back in cosmetology just still because it's like your baby. It's like that foundation. It's like wearing bell bottoms. Stuff is never going to go on style. So, can't you see yourself with bell bottoms in this hair style? Yes. Yes. So, just that simple, y'all. Just that simple. So, you see this little part right here that doesn't look like it's wave? We're going to go in here and create, create some wave right there. Let me just clean it up. Nothing is a mistake. Boom. And now she has a head full of waves. Can y'all see that? Can I get a round of applause for the waves? <laughs> yes. I absolutely love, 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 love doing hair. And I know that task seems simple. Um, it's not as easy when you're first learning. So if you have a stylist that is just learning, it's not that easy. But, you know, you've been in the game for a minute and you know it. It doesn't take that long to do. But this is how she will go under the dryer. She would dry just like this. And... When she finished, I can either curl her or like I said, I can comb her through. So when you get this style, Amber, what are you thinking when you ask me for this style? Oh, excuse me. Um, what am I thinking? Yeah. Yes. What is your desires for the convenience of the style that you like? Um, I like I like the get up and go. Um I like how it's kind of like a 90s kind of vibe, like something very sultry. I like the fact that it's like super easy for me. I can go to the gym and tie my hair down and I don't have to worry about it looking crazy. Um, it's just easy for me. Like my hair was longer and then I was like, eh, but this is perfect. It's just, and then it's, it's just simple. Like we can do this and then I can go, I like how um, we can like play with it with our fingers and then just, I can I can have like, even though my hair is short, I can have it for like so many different looks with my hair like this. And that's what I love the most about it. Yeah. So she's, she's basically still thinking too about her whole shortness in itself. But most of the time we mold her like this and I'll style it different ways, even in the mold. Um, someone asked, what's the maintenance for this style? 
um, a silk scarf, mm -hmm. like literally a silk scarf. You just tie it up and you can tie it around the whole head. You can tie the whole head up. You can tie the sides up unless you, um, um, you know, doing tricks at night or something that you're going to be on top of your head. You might want to tie your whole head up, but <laughs> y'all know I'm crazy. But ultimately, like you really want to just tie the sides, like tie it down. It's nothing, nothing hard. What was that? Um, let's see. Uh, how long does it last? Um, let us see. <sighs> okay, so let's stay there for a second. How long does it last? When I get asked that question, it always triggers me to go to this question. How often do you shampoo? Now, I don't like people to go past two weeks. I really don't. I tell them as simple as this, scalp and skin, how often do you bathe? Um, people wanting stuff to last three, four, five, six weeks. You gotta really think about what we're doing to the scalp when we don't shampoo the hair um often um i think it's just the theory that growing up caucasian people were the ones that shampooed their hair every other day or every day and we needed to wait because we were going to dry the hair out and that's actually the opposite there the reason they shampoo their hair frequently is because their sebaceous glands are out, overacting and it makes their hair oily we from our culture and what we've learned was that we didn't shampoo our hair, but we greased our scalps. So we're making our sebaceous glands be dormant. So they don't have to work. They won't work because we have clogged up the follicle. So they don't know to work. So with that being said, if you cleanse your scalp often, the sebaceous glands will work and you, your hair will be naturally oily or naturally, naturally moisturized. So how long will it last? Um, I'll give her a good week. I'll give it a good week. If you tie it down each day, um, probably a good week. If you work out, because she's natural, she doesn't, no, she's not natural. She's relaxer free. So anytime she sweats, sweat is water. Water equals curls. Water equals go back to your natural. I can't prevent sweat. Now, how you can help it with naturalistas, you can tie your hair up while you work out. Mm -hmm. You tie it up while you work out. Mm -hmm. That's one of the difference. I'm I'm relaxed, y'all. I love doing natural. I have about 60, 40% of natural hair client, or should I say relaxer free clients, but I am relaxed. So with me, I don't like tying my hair up when I work out because it gets too flat. So I'll work out and then wrap it after I work out. Yeah, I am working out. Don't be judging me. I'm working out one or two days. But um, yes, to answer your question, hopefully we answered your question. Um, how long did it take? Yeah, but Amber comes every week. She, um, it makes a difference. Have you noticed that it made a difference in your hair? Yes. Coming every week? Big difference. So it's easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm, and I'm going to give Amber a shout out, y'all. Let me tell you who Amber is. To, to me, she's not just my client. I'm actually her client also. Um, Amber does my lashes. If y'all can see these beautiful lashes that Amber does, they are lash extensions. And um, <laughs> and um, I absolutely love. I've had lash extensions a couple of times, and um, sometimes they're too thick or they actually hurt or I just want to really take them off and I've had these since before my birthday and she's been refilling them for me and I absolutely love them like I wear contacts and I thought that this was going to be the worst thing but I absolutely love them the days I have to wake up I don't feel like I need to put on any makeup I can go out I'm in love with lashes so I want y'all to look up what's your um lashology She's Lastrology on Instagram. Mm -hmm. She's Lastrology on Instagram. And I'm telling y'all, and she has the best chair. Oh my God, let's.
<sighs> let me give a shout out to her chair. Now, let me tell you, if you've ever had anything done with your eyes or face, um, sometimes it's uncomfortable just to be laying flat when you don't have, when you got this arch in your back and they don't either adjust on your ankles or your knees, like you have to adjust the body um, when you're doing these services. Um, but she has this chair that lays back with this big cushion that's like right in the arch of your back. So actually the time it takes for her to do my hair, I'm knocked out. I'm usually snoring real loud. We have a good time. Yes. <laughs> and music to my ears. See, snoring is music to your ears. Mm -hmm. Wow, isn't that nice? I don't like people to snore in my chair. Y'all bob and weave too much. <laughs> I'm, I'm liable to burn you or cut an ear off if you're doing too much bobbing and weaving and snoring. <laughs> you can snore under the dryer. You like the dryer? Oh, she likes the dryer. How many of y'all like going up under the dryer? No, this is yours. And, oh. Mm -hmm. So since you're on here bragging about us, tell, tell the people, tell the people of the YouTube world, which y'all can subscribe, like, share like share subscribe and follow and follow on um Instagram, ig and comment. facebook leave a comment um i'm gonna give um let her give a personal um experience that she gets when she comes to the salon i'm ready um well i come here every week um when i first walked in i was very impressed um the shop is beautiful Crystal is beautiful. A lot of times I think one of the things um, about being in the beauty industry is that we can kind of neglect ourselves. And when I first saw Crystal, I was like, wow, she looks really nice at work. And that impressed me. And I remember thinking like, wow, I want to know her. And so um, Getting to know her, we did. A, we actually did a consultation virtually, and I was ready to book immediately. I was on my way, but we decided to do it the next day. I was super happy. Um, she loves what she does, and that made me happy also. It, she loves what she does so much that she puts it into everything else. So it's not just like, oh, I want to do this and blog about this. We're we're on live and we're still talking about beauty and hair, which is awesome because I think sometimes we will go in one direction and leave behind something else. But I really enjoy coming here. I really enjoy um, the staff. She has snacks. I'm always hungry every time I come. <laughs> I mean, she has like the best soap in the bath. This is like really a luxury experience. This is like the nicest hair salon I've ever been to. Like, I feel like, yeah, I'm popping when I leave. Like when I walk out, I feel so confident. And I mean, it's, 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 it's if you guys don't come here, you you need to like, I, I mean, all my clients love my hair. I feel more confident. I, I feel like a completely different person after I leave here. Like if you can see just from this decor, it's it's gorgeous in here. So check her out. Oh this is gonna make me cry. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, but I see some of my clients are definitely on. Um listen, this is not just like an invitation to say I want a whole bunch of clients. Y'all literally I'm I'm accepting clients, but I only work three days now. And there is a little time frame for coming because I'm only here three days. Um, I used to be really quick, quick, quick because we had more days to spread out. But now we have so many people within those three days. Um, that's all I'm doing. And I'm not adding any more days. I'm actually going to go down a little bit more to two days in a couple of years. Um, that's my goal. Like I can't stand behind this chair forever, but I love what I do. And what I wanted to do is make sure people have an experience when they go places. I tell people, you know, you can either shop at Walmart, Macy's, or Neiman's. Take your pick. So I'm going to give you an experience that, that Neiman gives you when you go into these um, upscale, but it's not stuffy. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about our place. It's not stuffy. Um, you don't have to feel like being intimidated, um, like being here. It is really welcoming. We down to earth. The music is good and chill. Um, 
the the employees, the um, stylists, the barbers, everybody's chill, everybody is welcoming. Um, there's no drama. And like she said, we have nice snacks. We do serve wine. They can only get one glass. We serve other drinks too, um, that you can get a glass um, with your service. So it's definitely an experience. So with that, give me one second. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put Amber into the dryer because I definitely want to finish her hair and not be here a long time after the podcast. So I'm going to put her under the dryer. So if you hear this humming noise in the background, I hope it's not too loud. That's going to be her up under the dryer. So give me one second, Ember. Go right over to that first dryer. I'm going to turn you one on the back. I'm back. So yes, um, um, what were we? What were we talking about? I lost my train of thought. But um, the salon, yeah, giving people an experience. Um, I want people to understand the value that we as stylists have um, a lot of people want to downplay what we do as stylists and just think that we're just doing hair it's more than just doing hair um, i tell people i understand my value i understand my worth and you know and everybody is not a fit to be with me and it's okay we can still go have drinks and dinner and have a good time every client is not my client and i'm good with that um, but you also need to understand the value in your stylist and barber. When you wake up every morning and you look in the mirror, who do you see? You see me. You see what I created for you. You see if what I told you is going to work. You see um, the value in the haircut. You see that it doesn't take you that long to get your hair together. You actually see what I told you about pin curling the hair in a certain way really work. So when you understand that value that I made your life a little bit easier that morning, or when you walk into that office for that interview or for that presentation or just in the office in general, and people say, whoo, girl, your hair looks good. Who are they talking about? So I think y'all need to give your stylist a lot of props. Not That's just on the hair style. That's just the time that they take to bring you back to life, the time that it takes to um, enhance your beauty, enhance your natural beauty. Um, those, those things are valuable. Now, it does come with a lot of other things. It's just like, like I said, Walmart, Macy's, and Neiman's. Um, Walmart definitely has value. You can go in there and find probably whatever you want to find. But customer service not, might, might not be as good. The environment may not be as good. So that's why it's 97 cent at the end. <laughs> There's a 97 cent at the end of everything at Walmart. And when you go into Macy's, sometimes you might find a good person that has great customer service. Sometimes you may not. A dressing room may be open every now and then. Sometimes it's not. When you go to Neiman's, and you go at a great time, you, you the service is definitely different. They're going to talk to you about every pair of shoes you try to try on. They're going to tell you about every piece of clothing. They might even offer you a glass of wine if you're spending the right kind of money. Those are experience. And when you have those, those experience, um, you understand the value. You understand the value. So it's like um, going to restaurants also. <clears throat> you go to McDonald's. You're going to go through the drive through you expect a combo. Everything is going to be all together. Your french fries, your sandwich, and your drink. When most stylists first start off, they're going to start off with the trim is included. You might get a little deep conditioner. All of that's included. But when you get to a point as a stylist and you've been doing hair for 25 years or more or 20 years or 15 years, no, excuse me, or you just understand your value as a stylist, and you can produce a great experience, guess what? Everything becomes a la carte. Everything is a la carte. 
because everything takes time. Everything is, takes time and time is money and it's products, whether it's a product or it's a skill. So product costs. So if I'm giving you a deep conditioner, um, that's different from just your regular shampoo and a um, regular conditioner. That conditioner should cost more than your regular conditioner. So you have to understand the value on the backside of um, having everything bundled together and having the, everything a la carte. Um, I love what I do. I appreciate and value all of my clients. Hello, everybody who is speaking, who's just joining. Um, we're about, what time is it, Patrill? 809. Oh, uh, it's 809. We're about 20 minutes out, less than 20 minutes out. And um, I'm just here. I did a wave demonstration earlier. So if you missed it, you have to go back and replay it. Um, I talked about um, the value of us as a stylist is where I was. Um, understanding the value of your stylist, whether it's me or not, but also to the stylist, understanding your clients and giving them valuable service. You cannot just have people coming in, just sitting, waiting, no introduction. Um, some of these topics, y'all, these are going to be some of the topics throughout the show um, that we're going to dig deep into, like consultation, um, sitting the client down. If you're a stylist, I mean, if you're a client and you've um, been to a salon and they take you straight to the shampoo bowl your first time or your second time and they don't sit you in the chair to talk to you, that's what we're going to talk about, consultation, what consultation means. If you heard Amber... Um, when a client books for color for me and I have not yet seen them, I will try to do a virtual consultation with them because I kind of need to see where are we going or that first appointment will be a consultation only. I usually don't give color to the clients when they first sit in the chair unless, and it's a big unless, um, the hair is at a state that I can tell that nothing's going to happen to the hair regardless of what I've done. Um, a lot of y'all get in the chair and you exaggerate a little bit about what you've been doing to the hair. Yeah, I haven't put any color in it. Just a little dark and lovely, the little rinse thing. Yeah, all of that's color. All of that makes a difference when you're sitting in the stylist chair. So that all comes with consultation. That's where we get all of that from you, consultation and um, doing color uh, strand tests. So... Um, those are the valuable things as a stylist that we give out to you as the client. So one thing about Gresham Giles, um, what do we want to say else about Gresham Giles? I'm thinking about the waves that we just did, the wine we're drinking. Anybody have any questions? Do you have any questions, Kentrell? Um, not from what I see. see. Are y'all enjoying tonight's conversation? Because I know a lot of people is watching the football game. Kentrell, tap IG right quick for me. It went dark. Yeah. Um, let's go with... Are you are? Thank you, Kayla. Y'all, I can't wait for y'all to meet Kayla. Kayla is my wonderful assistant, and um, I have been here at Gresham Giles since 2013, July of 2013, so almost nine years, and I have been through quite a few assistants. Um, some amazing people have worked with me. Um, I definitely... If I go down the list and I miss one, somebody's going to beat me up. So I'm not. I'll make that day one day <laughs> that I go down the list and say everybody's name because I will write them down. But I'm not going to quote everybody's name and miss somebody's name. But Kayla um, is a young lady that understands the value in this industry. And she will definitely be going places in this industry because she understands the value of this industry. So I can't wait to bring Kayla on. We definitely gonna talk about assistance and what people should expect um, from assistance and what assistants should expect from the stylist. 
Um, Auntie Nisi said, how long should color last? Okay. Let's see how I can break this down, Auntie. Um, color. There is different kinds of color. You have demi, you have semi, you have permanent, and you have temporary. So most people really don't use temporary anymore. Temporary was like your, um, uh, what was the name of those? I can't even think of the name right quick, and I don't want to go down that lane and still forget. But like a shimmering lights is a temporary color, or root was it roof rocks roots or something? Those were temporary colors, but people don't usually use those. But semi semi permanent colors are the colors that pour directly out of the bottle onto the hair, and it stains the hair. Demi permanent lifts the hair up a little bit, opens the cuticle up a little bit, and deposits the hair. Permanent colors lift the um, cuticle up long enough to change the color from dark to light, if you can grab that. How long does it last? Color lasts. Now, if I say this, you got to listen to the rest. Color lasts forever. Color doesn't come off your hair. What happens is your hair grows. So those are called roots. So. If you get your color done this week and in the next week and a half, two weeks, you see a white line, that's just new growth. That's just your hair growing. That's not the color not lasting. Now, disclaimer, that's not all colors. I'm only talking about the colors that are done at the Gresham Giles Experience. That's all I'm talking about. If you get a, a semi-permanent, a cellophane here, it's gonna let it's not gonna come off. Color does not come off. So when we ask during a consultation, have you had color on your hair? If you've done color in the last two years, you've had colors. It's not going away. It's just going to grow out. Highlights, permanent color, whether it's red, black, brown, blonde, it just grows out. So it never goes away. So when people say, is it going to go away? No. Now, do, does color fade? Yes, color definitely fades. Um, a lot of things attribute to color fading. It could be the sun, it could be the wind, it could be um, just your atmosphere, it could be your heat from your flat irons or curling irons. Um, it could be from your medication. A lot of things make a difference with hair, with hair color, should I say. Yeah, hair color is a very in-depth conversation. Um, we'll probably tackle that one day. I'll probably get some before questions, do a um, show where you can get questions before and um, we can really go into depth on um, color. Um, what is the difference between a haircut and hair shaping? Thank you. So listen, when I want the clients to get out of the mindset of just a trim. When I know when y'all hear the word trim, y'all want somebody just to go around the edges at the bottom and that's it. Most of the time, that's what I hear when people say trim. But hair shaping is when I take this piece and I pull it out because this piece doesn't reach down here. If I never touch this piece because it doesn't reach down here, it doesn't do nothing but continue to break. So when I go in and the way I have to cut, I am usually doing a full hair shaping. That's what shaping the hair is. Whether the hair is here and I'm shaping it, whether it's here and I'm shaping it, whether it's a pixie and I'm shaping it, I'm reshaping the hair. It's not so much a trim. In our minds, we, we have, but the stylist is cutting too much. No, the stylist is reshaping the hair. Because if the hair is already grown out from what the previous look was, then we have to reshape it back to that look. Um, hair cutting. We're going from here to what I have. We're going from what I have to a pixie. Like drastic changes. Those are haircuts. Something I have to do that's very drastic from what you already have. So those are the two things, hair shaping and hair cutting. Thank you, Kayla. We got any questions over there, Contrell? Not from Facebook. 
What's the score on the game? Is the game on? How your head feel, Amber? Hmm? How's your head feel? Dry? Okay. Amber is almost dry, so hopefully um, in the next five minutes, I'll be able to uh, just run my hands through it so you all can see the results of um, her style. And because she's such a short pixie and she's um, she's actually bleached blonde, yes. That's another question people want to know about bleaching. Um, is bleach a color? Yes. Is bleach safe? It can be. Is bleach damaging? It, damaging? it can be. Bleach is, is a chemical. Any chemical can be damaging. So um, great topics to talk about. I'm excited um, about Straight From The Chair because it's going to give me the opportunity to do what I love and that's talk about hair and all things from the chair. And all things from the chair includes talking to my, um, my clients and their occupations and things that they do and um, how we, we, we talk about everything in the chair, how we can help the community. Um, what is it that they do exactly? I'm always asking my clients, what do, what do you do exactly? Not just what's your job title, what do you do? What, what, what do you do every day? And when I hear that, I, um, I'm intrigued because people do so many different things um, in the industry. 10 7 49ers. And do you prefer a hair serum or hair oil when styling? Okay. 10 4. You said 10 to 4? 10 to 7 49ers. 10 to 7 49ers. Okay, 49ers. Let's go. I'm going to go with the 49ers because my brother's a 49 fan. So I'm going to go with them. Um, hair oil or hair serum? Mm -hmm. Um. Mm, okay, so what I'm what I'm contemplating on, what I'm thinking about is serum and oil. I think um, serum is a way that they say oil now, um, but I prefer a light oil, like an argan type oil, something that's very light. Um, I don't like a heavy oil. Now that varies. If it's some hair that's short like mine, or that's real thick, the oil might be a little bit heavier. But I like the hair to flow. Like if y'all see my hair, no, I don't want to move my hair because I should have washed my hair and I didn't. And if I move it too much, I'm going to see everything that falls out and we are not going to see these little, little um, crumbs that's going to fall out my hair because I'm used to washing my hair twice a week. I wash my hair twice. I shampoo my hair twice a week. I shampoo usually on Sunday and Wednesdays, but I didn't shampoo today. So, um, but with that, um, this, the oils, I don't like thick, thick oils. It's not for your scalp. Only time I like to use something for the scalp is when there's a um, a problem on the scalp, something that's very problematic. Problematic. But we usually have something that's um, made just for that spot, not for the whole scalp. Tap um, IG. And um, um, it's made directly for that problem. I don't like grease in the scalp. I don't use a lot of grease when I'm styling. I use a, a pomade when I'm curling short hair and I want the curls to kind of stay, but not too hard, not too hard. That's just, that's my preference. That's how I style hair. That's not a, a wrong or right answer. That's my preference. Um, so to your answer, serum, serum or oil, it's a preference to use. Um, I think they use the word serum now as another word for oil. Do you prefer a hair serum? Oh, you said that. Hmm? Let's see. Um, what else? Oh, back to straight from the chair. Um, I'm excited um, that I, like I said, I'm excited that I'm able, able to talk about what I love to do. And I want to bring more and more people on. You don't have to be my client to be a guest. But what I am going to do is ask my guests to bring in a different bottle of wine because I want to taste different wines. I have, I'm not a wine connoisseur. I like wine and um, I like reds. I'm, I think this is the sweetest wine I like besides plum wine. I do like a, a good plum wine, but those are only the requirements, um, making sure that 
as a guest, you have something that's very valuable for the audience to hear, um, something that's going to enlighten them. Oh, let me put this out there. The, uh, the Speaking of Guns event is scheduled for next Sunday. Um, I think there is quite a few, few slots that are available left, but the deadline is tomorrow for the gun event. That link is going to be in my bio. If you go into my bio on, on Instagram, it is in the link tree. Um, speaking of guns, if you go on Facebook, it is um, on the page. I'll update it again and put it back on the page again. The deadline is tomorrow. If we don't have enough people by tomorrow night, uh, we're going to reschedule the event. But um, I think that event is an amazing event because we all need to learn how to protect ourselves and not just not protect ourselves to understand the value um, for having a gun, like understanding how to use the gun when you have it, what to do and when to really shoot and when not to and how to stay calm because i i just i don't know i i don't want to shoot anybody but i also want to make sure that i'm thinking straight when these things happen but i don't know if you can really do that but i'm pretty sure Daphne will be able to tell us what we can do when we do that so if you are interested go to my link tree or um on ig or go to my facebook page gresham giles or straight from the chair and click on the link and pay. Like I said, by tomorrow night, we're gonna close it out and we're gonna see how many people we have. What's the difference between setting hair versus blow dry and styling? The difference between setting the hair, um, setting, and I'm assuming um, you mean it on rollers and blow drying the hair. Um, setting the hair on rollers gives the hair a lot more volume um a lot of extra body so when i say volume this is to you auntie when you used to put your hair back and go real big and do like that you remember how y'all used to do that's roll set and that's going to give you volume and body the way i do a blow dry style and ceramic press it's still going to give you body you're going to still be able to move the hair but it's going to be flat it just won't give you as much volume. That's the difference between setting and um, blow drying the hair. So yes, um, the gun event will close out tomorrow. And um, yeah, I, we really need to get into that, y'all. We really, I know it was a quick turnaround for um, the price range, but um, we're gonna bring it back um, soon probably in the spring so that we can um, get more people and um, learn how to use these um, firearms. So I think, how you feel? It's good, come on over. So Amber is coming over mm -hmm. and we're gonna show the ending results of her sitting under the dryer with her waist. And wave, and wave, and wave. Come on in, Daphne. All right, y'all see? Oh, it is good and dry. Nice waves. So now this, I cannot do, y'all. I cannot sit down and style here. People tell me all the time, you should sit down and take a break. I can't do that because it's not comfortable for me and it actually hurts my back worse when I'm sitting down. So I am going to grab, I'm gonna grab this oil serum. <laughs> and uh, once again, I'm not doing a promotion, but I love this, this oil. And I'm just gonna take two little squirts. Y'all see this? So this product goes a long way. It's very concentrated. I don't use a lot. I use very little and I'm going to emulsify it right around on her head. And yes, my nails are my combs. I hardly 
pick up a comb when I'm styling. Once I style the hair, once I curl it, I hardly ever pick up a comb. And if you can see, she's fly and ready to go. Now, this is something that we'll do with her because I play in her hair a lot when I'm doing her hair. We can go back and she can be spiked up. Or we can go to the side. Now, granted, when I use my curlers, we definitely can get a different look, but this is without anything, any tools or anything. So what this tells you, y'all, is this is a nice haircut because she's able to move the hair in different directions. You see that? And this is what you want to be able to do with your hair. So like she said, when she wakes up, who does she see? Me, because I made her life, her morning more easy than when she's waking up. She doesn't have to do a lot. She takes a scarf. Can you try hand me one of those scarves right behind you on that, up, uh, right there. Mm -hmm. Be careful with it. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> Just one, I take it. Mm -hmm. And let me show you what she does. She can do basically this maneuver here. Take your scarf and you put it in a triangle. This is a full scarf. Full scarf. Fold it, put it in a triangle. Pull it here. I'm here. Tie down. I don't know if I'm over her eye, y'all, because I'm really just having the camera as my mirror. And I take this little piece and tuck, and she's ready for bed. Oops, wait, my malfunction. <laughs> there you go. And she's ready for bed if that stays in. Yeah, and that's how you go to sleep. Now, if your husband has a complaint with that, oh well. This is how you. It's gonna make you look cute the next day. <laughs> Um, if you're working out at the gym, that's the way to tie it up, or you can come this way. Just remember with the way that this, um, the knot sits, if you do it consistently in the same area every night, you can cause the hair to break. So if you come here and you tie a knot and it's inside the hairline and you tie it in that same place every night, here or wherever, eventually it can cause breakage. So make sure it is below and tie it. You can go to sleep like that. Or you can go to the gym like that. You just want to keep it flat. All right, tap out your phone. And voila. So this this is Miss Amber. So when she gets ready to leave, and yes, we always have our clients have on a smock. Y'all wonder what people look like once they get dressed. We always leave them with just the cape on, but you gotta put your clothes back on so people can see exactly what they look like when they finish. And that's Miss Amber. Yes, I appreciate y'all watching tonight. I appreciate you joining. It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to talk to you about what I love to do. And we're going to give it to you straight from the chair. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to sing my own music going out. because no happy any outro music. <laughs> yes. That was good. Was it? Yeah. Oh, good. That was good.